And the fact that she invested her talent into our music, our music, was an enormous a source of pride for people. During the time I had my Los Canciones show, I was down by the Palace of Fine Arts, and I saw these kids playing and dancing. And I could tell by the way they were dancing, they were really authentic. So I got into a conversation with Eugene, and I said, yeah, you guys are really good. And he said, well, we've been trying to raise enough money to take a trip to Mexico, because I want the kids to learn what it is to be a Mexican, you know, so they can feel proud of it. I could see the value of a trip like that, to go down for musical purposes, for a musical exchange. And I said, oh, I'll, I'll help you with the money to go to, go to Mexico. So I added an extra concert into my tour to help pay for their trip to Mexico. And that's how we started our friendship. Why don't we do um, San Lorenzo? When I went to the center to see how the kids were trained, I was so impressed by how much they were validated, how much they were respected, and how much dignity they were given. I thought the Sensonas were really special. I thought they were doing a great job teaching kids music. Every time I would introduce another musician, they got as enthusiastic as I was about it. Linda told me about this guy, Eugene, and that what he was doing with his kids was really important. It's important that the kids growing up in the United States, they're Americans. It's important that they know that we're all immigrants, every one of us. Every one of us is an immigrant to this country that isn't native. Linda, Linda, you tricked me. I tricked you? Yeah. So I was going to come up here and do an interview with you for the sound of my voice. And you said the only way you'd do an interview for your own documentary was if I went to Mexico with you and Los Insultles and interviewed you there. <laughs> <laughs> it was a nice trip, though. I wanted to go. <laughs> And the bus was going, so I had a chance. How'd you get Jackson to come? We asked him. <laughs> he likes to eat. We know. <laughs> and he likes good music. Look, if Linda Ronstadt invites you to go to Mexico, I don't need to know any more than that. It's, you know, of course, let's go. I knew that she wanted to take Los Anzondles, and I already knew them, so I knew it would be a great trip. Los Insultles means the mockingbirds. A mockingbird doesn't mock other birds. A mockingbird listens to the sounds of other birds, and they incorporate those songs into their voices. This is what we try to do. I was 15 when I first joined Los Insultles back in the 90s. It's going to be 25 years this year that I've been at Los Ensembles. Now that I'm teaching, I see my students 